Hey guys, so we won the Serie B with Palermo and now we're into the Serie A where I have carried out most of the preseason, even played my first cup game and we're about to go into our first league game. But just in case, for those of you that are just joining now, a little quick recap on what I've done up to now. So I spent three seasons at Sanuki in Japan, first of all in the J3 League. I got them promoted to the J2 League. Subsequently, I got a job in England in Huddersfield, where I took a recently relegated Huddersfield from League One onto the Championship. And we almost made a push towards the Premiership, but we couldn't quite get there. So after that, I joined Palermo, who had recently been relegated from the Serie A into the Serie B, and I instantly took them to glory, and where I won the Manager of the Year and the Italian Serie B. So, with that said, this summer, let's see who we've bought and who we've sold. So we'll start off first with the key people that have left the club. The two big names that come to mind are... Patrick Pence, who was my main goalkeeper. Unfortunately, recently promoted Como together with uh, Palermo expressed an interest and he wanted to leave. So basically it was a question of can I get the most money out of him? And so we sold him for 3 million. And Nicholas Binder, my second striker at the time. Well, basically long story short, I signed a couple of a few attacking players this summer and some which are a little bit better than him and obviously he was concerned about his uh, amount of play time so i thought it's best to find him a new home get some good money out of it and we take it from there so i sold him for 800k to austria vienna as well he was a little unsettled as a result of patrick pence who was his other fellow austrian national having left so i thought it's best just to get get him out of the way moving on now for the interesting bit, who has come in? <laughs> so I am pleased to say that my star signing this season is uh, Marko Grujic. A little bit of expensive, I think, for given his age, but I wanted to. F I need. I needed to find a solid anchorman because uh, Contenella, who was on loan from Lazio last season, he's headed back, and he, there's no way I can buy him. So I had to uh, improvise, and this guy definitely uh, fits the bill. <laughs> Moving on, we had signed during last season. We had confirmed the signing of Emmanuel Pecorino, uh, you know, another striker for 2.2 million. And I thought that was a good, good buy and he's already worth 4.6 to 6. And he's got very good physicals does have decent finishing, decent composure, decent, you know, like all this that, you know, the striker stats seem to be decent. So I'm quite happy with that. Moving on, we signed Rob Holding <laughs> on a free. Originally, I wanted to get him as having as a backup, but he does have decent physicals, even though it's 33. He does have great teamwork, very good work rate. So I think he might be one of my main center backs, potentially. Hopefully he settles in well. Now, as a result of losing my keeper, Patrick, I didn't really have a decent second keeper. So we found uh, Ignacio de Arena, um, who was on a free. And to be quite frank, for a super keeper, three and a half stars, on a free, I genuinely can't complain. And he does have very decent stats. So yeah, snapped him up on a free. We also acquired Miguel Monsalve from, good question, where was he from? From Inter, that was it, yes. Uh, they released him on a free. And he seems fairly decent. You know, very good vision, very good off the ball, very good agility. And personally, I want to play him on the left. You know, he's definitely become my star player. He is also my biggest earner, you know, at 83k a week. I mean, when you look at my squad, when you look at wages, I mean, Emmanuel Vignato got a new contract recently of uh, 68,000. But, um, Miguel Monsalve, oof, he's by far my biggest earner. So let's see. Let's see what happens there. But he's on a free. So, and he's 25. Still, it says here he hasn't got any space to improve. But, you know, definitely a good buy. 
we also got Jacobo Tacconi on a free. I believe he was from Hellas Verona. We got him on a free. He can play right back and he can play center back. He's not the greatest, but he's an exciting young prospect. He's got very good physicals, very decent heading, marking and tackling for a defender, which is key. And the, the idea is that he's going to be our backup player in the event, either my right back or center back are injured. Because we did lose Tranquilino, who was on loan from Porto, but there is just no way that I can afford him. So I needed to get one, a decent right back, and two, a backup. And this is where I believe I've signed. Indeed, this guy can play. I signed him pretty much to give cover to Bartesagi, as well as play right back mainly. And it's Matteo Chiarucci. Again, he's got amazing physicals. He still has a lot of potential that he can fulfill, but he can play both sides of the field, so perfect. And then we go from AC Milan, Sergio Marquez, who is a right-sided player, plays on the wing, but he's got amazing stats. And I look forward to using him on the wing as an inside forward. And that's pretty much it in terms of transfers. One thing that's worth mentioning, only because I saw it, is that the... Uh, in my game in August 2029, Jude Bellingham signed for Man City. <laughs> the guy left Real Madrid now. The, the, what's shocking isn't so much that. I mean, I mean his contract is on a 500,000 a week. Right? My wage budget, if I'm not mistaken, is 830 so he has more than half my wage budget in his own contract right <laughs> but what's shocking or sh i wouldn't say shocking i mean what's impressive is the fee that they've paid for him they're paying 238 million pounds with potential costs increase of 327 million totaling uh, 327 million okay it's great genuinely bonkers having that type of money when you look at my team and you look at the finances i am uh minus 10 million pounds i'm already in a deficit at least in terms of financial fair play i'm not exceeding any rules right. so with that said let's move on now to our first game of the season all right away to salento Come on, Palermo, we are back where we belong, in the Serie A. Away to Salento, who lost their last game. I believe it was a cup game. Come on! You've got this. I'm gonna switch to cautious, just so that we don't get caught off guard. Oh no, what? Oh! Jesus, I had to say it. I had to say it and it happened. All within 30 seconds of my reintroduction to Serie A. Hey. Hopefully we can uh, put that one behind us. Oh, Mark, wait, no, wait. Is it offside? I get the feeling it might be offside. Is it? Checking goal review. The goal has been awarded. Yes. It's in. Marquez on the cross. Puzzles it in. Mark Green back to Zaraga. Zaraga. Oh. Almost. 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 Estrelli. Vero. Magui. Looking for Marquez. Can't quite get the pass on to him. But we've got Monsalve stealing it. And he shoots. Oh, he tries. Cross again, Alvero can't quite get to it. On Salve again on the ball, can he cross it in? Alvero! Ah! Oh. We were attacking a lot, Marquez on the corner again. Crosses it in, Bartasagi, what a save from the keeper. Come on, another corner. We have been relentless versus them. Alvero! Ah! Oh, can't get it on target. Yeah, 
have a good spell of possession here. Maybe they can make something of it. Oh, what a pass and what a goal. Oh, wow. That was one through ball. The goal has been reviewed. The goal has been given. It was not offside. Got a on the ball. Into Canestrelli. Put it to Curtis, who goes to Marquez. Can Marquez get to Gui? And Gui makes it. Two, two, but it's been checked. For offside. Another goal review. The goal has been awarded. Yes, that's two for Mark. However, we haven't been able to make the most of it. We've got Marcus on the ball. Can he get to Magui? No. Curtis. Oh, on to Bartasargi. Who gets it to Magui? And Monsalve almost makes it a 3 2, but it's offside. It looks like we're down to the last 30 seconds. So let's, let's hope for a little drama here. Especially when they're on the ball. Christensen on to Blin. Save hands. And there it is. First game of the season, one point. Can't say I can complain too much. I mean, we did dominate in terms of shots. Perhaps we did merit the win more than they did. So, yeah, there you have it. That was the first game of the season. We'll see what happens in the next, uh, in the first half of the season. Hopefully I have a good cup run as well. So until next time, take care.